Okay, I know. You don't like everyone to see your beauty secrets, right? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 9.45 a.m. And I thought I would show you Ditto's new hangout. He loves this spot. I don't know why. But I found him here the past few mornings. I don't think it's been every morning, but the majority of the past few mornings. And when he's not laying there, you can see the imprint of like a nice little cat bed. So I don't know if that's where he sleeps all night. Um, I do know he gets a nice breeze here and this is a very cool place for him to stay and you know cats always find the coolest place so right now it's about 82 degrees and it's really really humid and at night it has not been getting down into the 70s it's been staying around 80 and the humidity has been staying and um, this one thing we noticed about this summer is that normally in the summer you know it'll be hot during the day but then at night it'll cool down to like 75 72 and I think we've only had like two or three nights where it's done that. The rest of the time it's just been hot and humid all night also, so. Ditto's been trying to keep cool. He looks like he wants to take a nap right now, so I don't want to disturb him. I'm wondering if this is also a good hunting ground for him. If that's why he likes to, um, to lay there also. So I just thought I would show you Ditto's new spot. And there's plenty of dry food in the feeder, so if he wants to eat something, he can eat that. I just went inside and realized that I had defrosted two raw food nuggets for Hydrox. And Hydrox is not around for breakfast this morning. But when I came back outside, Ditto's on the patio now. So here's Ditto. And I'm going to give Ditto the food. Those are some chicken and salmon nuggets for cats. I hope he eats it. I don't think he's ever had that kind of food before. You can eat your food, Ditto. I'll back up, okay? I just backed away about five feet, so right now I'm probably about six or seven feet away from Ditto. And I did put herbs in the food. So he's getting parasite herbs and just general immunity herbs. I hope he eats that. It's nice and soft. It's very healthy for him. Looks like he's enjoying it. So I'm gonna go inside, get the other cats fed. Look at Hydrox, he's been in the shelter. He's like half in the shelter, half out of the shelter. Hydrox, you okay? It is 10 a.m. and that's the plate of food that I put out for Hydrox. And someone ate it. I don't know if he ate it or Ditto ate it. But there they are right now. Hydrox is meowing at Ditto. Look at this. What's going on there, Ditto? What are you doing? Uh, it looks like Ditto might be looking for more food, but there's still some of the raw food, about half of that raw food still in the plate out there, so, so they're good right now. I still have to feed the inside cats, they just all got brushed. Good morning, Splash. It's 7 a.m. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? It is 9 p.m. And I'm testing out a new food schedule with the cats. So I tested it out yesterday and it worked pretty good. So I'm testing it out again today. And the cats have not had their dinner yet. Their splash. And um, I just got home a couple minutes ago. So... What I've been doing is, what I did yesterday and what I'm doing today is I'm feeding the cats their dinner later. And the reason why is because 
when six or seven o'clock rolls around, they have not been wanting to eat. Like they haven't been hungry at all. So I've been taking it upon myself uh, to use that time more productively. Uh, so like today, I just ran a few errands and some stores are still closing at 7 p.m., which I think is like too early. Like get back to normal hours now. And thankfully, uh, some stores uh, still are keeping normal hours. Uh, one of the stores that I went to closes at nine. The other one I think closes at 11. Um, but uh, just in but just in general, I wish all the stores would not close so early at seven. Like let's. Let's get back to more normalcy. So um, I just got back and the cats are definitely hungry now. And so what I did yesterday was since I fed them late, I fed them here on the rug instead of crunchy. So they didn't have crunchy time, they just had their dinner and they got some extra crunchies with their dinner and I'm gonna do that again today. So for dinner today, the cats are having homemade raw food with some water mixed in. They each get a few dried minnows on top and right now, uh, they all have some crunchies on top, and if they finish all their food, then they can get some extra crunchies. Boo's eating his food. Simba's eating his food. Stella's eating her food. And Splash is eating his food. I should also say that Boo got a little tiny bit of canned food on top of his food. I have to do that to bribe him to eat the raw food. And there's Hijax. He was waiting by the back door. So I just gave him some food also because he meowed at me. Hydrox meows when he wants food. When he just wants to hang out, he just hangs out. It's 11 p.m. I'm just about to go to bed. That noise is the dishwasher. But do you see where Hijax is sleeping? He's sleeping on the back step. He's sleeping near the back door. Looks very comfortable. It's 7 a.m. Good morning, Splash. I've never seen Splash sleeping on this chair before. Good morning, Splashy. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept on the bed all night and he just he just got up and came over here. And I put this game out for the cats last night. I don't know if they ate any crunchies out of it, but do you see the crunchy? There's like little pieces of crunchy there. Maybe they did get some out. What I need to do is try to remember um, which area was open. I don't think they actually moved anything around. I think that area was left open. It's about 8.15 a.m. right now. And this is part of my new routine. What I do is I brush the cats before they eat breakfast. I brush them downstairs where they eat. And Splash is the first one. So I've basically just been trying to make all of my cat chores as efficient as possible. And I know the cats are all down here ready to eat their breakfast. So I I think it's a good time to get them all brushed so they look very nice for their day, right Simba? Stella's next. Now sometimes when I brush Stella with the camera on she doesn't like it. Stella likes this to be more of a private activity. Okay, Stella, you look beautiful today. You look beautiful, Stella. You always look beautiful. You're a beautiful girl, Stella. Okay, I know. You don't like everyone to see your beauty secrets, right? Stella says she likes to keep some of her beauty secrets private. Okay, Stella. People know you're beautiful before you get brushed also, okay? Okay. Okay. 
And here's Boo. So Boo's thing lately is that he likes to hang out at the top of the steps because he likes to look outside and see what Hydrox and or Ditto are doing. So I just fed Hydrox a little while ago and Hydrox is now in the automatic feeder. Hydrox is walking back and forth between the automatic feeder and then the food I gave him. So what I've been having to do is close the door to upstairs to make sure Boo stays downstairs because Boo is also on a campaign to eat all of his meals upstairs. I don't want that. I want him to eat with the family. So, um, so yeah, so this is what, this is Boo's campaign for being upstairs. He's like not wanting to go downstairs. It's 9.21 PM and I'm making dinner for the cat. So this is for Hydrox. So I'm trying something new today. I was in Trader Joe's earlier and I bought a pound of this ground turkey. It says ground turkey with natural flavoring and the ingredients are ground turkey natural rosemary flavor um, and this is the turkey that's not uh, only turkey breast so it just said ground turkey so I'm assuming it was some light meat and some dark meat so what I'm doing is I'm putting together some of the ground turkey for Hydrox I put some bone meal in it and I put um, a mixture of the other supplements that I put in the raw food when I make the raw food I also put in like um, let's say a heaping teaspoon of some canned food to give this some flavor. I have his herbs in here. I have like vitamin E, vitamin B, um, his anti-flea stuff. And I want to see if he'll eat this because if he will eat this, then this will be a quick and easy way for me to get more raw food into him. So here's a whole bunch of food on his plate. I'm going to put it outside for him. I just put it outside for him. He smelled it, or maybe he took a bite of it, and then he went to the automatic feeder, where he is now. But he's been doing this. He'll go back and forth. So I'm going to feed the inside cats, and then we'll check back um, with Hydrox's food, and we'll see uh, if he came back to eat it. It's 927, and there's Hydrox. He came back to eat. So this is really good because then it means... I can get more raw food into Hydrox and hopefully it'll help him. I think Boo has the zoomies right now. He's running around like crazy. I'm just about to feed the cats. They're on their late dinner schedule. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.